this editor of Theme. I'd like to pass straight over to the hosts for part one, both um, members of the Taste and Flavour Network, uh, Ian Burrell, the much-travelled rum ambassador, and the founder of Taste and Flavour, ten years old this summer, which less makes travelled. some of us uh, less, less travelled than Burrell. I'll leave you to argue that out. Mark Ridgewell. <laughs> There's some truth in the fact that for years now, I've certainly heard people saying this is going to be the year of rum. And evidence today suggests this could well be the year of rum. We have Ian with us today because there's nobody more committed, more passionate about rum than Ian, the rum ambassador. When it comes to rum, it's all about sharing. I mean, rum is part of the family. It's not something that you just like drink by yourself. You can drink by yourself, but most of the times when you're inside a bar or you're at home, it's all about sharing. So. We're going to share the love. So one glass between eight, I think it is. I do get a lot of people inside my bar that will come in and will say to me, I don't like rum. I'm like, huh? He just walks into Cotton's. We've got 280 rums on our back bar. And you don't like rum? And I'm like, no, I don't like rum. I said, well, maybe it's the rum that you've tried that you don't like, but there definitely is a rum for you. Because the beautiful thing about rum that I found is that it's probably the most versatile spirit on the back bar. Rum will always be there. So when someone says to you, is rum the next big thing? You say, no, it's always been the big thing. It's consistent.